Hi, in this video we'll learn how to multiply polynomials using box method. So I have a trinomial times a binomial and have created this box in order to multiply them. So first of all, I'll take my first polynomial and then put that on the top of the box. So I have x squared term first, so that will go here, and I have a positive 6x, and then I have a negative 4. Now, I'll take my second polynomial and then put that vertically on the side. So then I have 2x minus 4. And it really doesn't matter which one goes on the side and which one goes on the top. You can switch between them. If you switch between them, if this goes on top, then you will have two columns, but three rows, because this one has three terms. So you will have x squared, then positive 6x, and then negative 4. So you will have three rows, but just two columns because you have two terms here, 2x minus 4. So you can switch between them. Now, we're done um, arranging, organizing our terms. And what I need to do is I have to multiply my rows by columns. So I'll take my first row, okay, and then I'll multiply that by all the columns. So basically, I'll multiply 2x with x squared first, then 2x with positive 6x, and then 2x with negative 4. So 2x times x squared will give us 2x cubed. Then 2x times positive 6x will give us 12x squared. It's 2 times 6 is 12, and x times x is x squared. Then 2x times negative 4 would give us negative 8 x because 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Now I'll multiply the second row by all the columns. So I'll multiply negative 4 with x squared first. So negative 4 times x squared would be negative 4 x squared. Then negative 4 times positive 6x. Well negative 4 times positive 6 will be negative 24 and then we have x attached to it. So this will give us negative 24 x. And then negative 4 times negative 4 would be positive 16 because the product of two negative numbers is positive number. Now we're done multiplying them. Now we'll write the sum of all the terms. So I'll take these terms and then just um, add them. So I have 2x cubed. Then I have positive 12x squared. Then I have negative 8x. Then I have negative 4x squared then negative 24x, and then 16. So that will be a positive 16. We can just put a plus sign in front of the terms so to avoid the confusion. Now let's see, let's start combining the like terms. Well, I just have a 2x cubed here. We don't have any other like terms, so we'll just put 2x cubed here. Okay, then we have 12x squared and then negative 4x squared. So 12x squared minus 4x squared will give us 8x squared. So these terms are gone, this is gone. Then we have negative 8x and negative 24x, we can combine these two terms. So negative 8x minus 24x will give us negative 32x. So these are gone, and then I have plus 16. Now, if you look at my final answer, this answer is already in the standard form. Standard form means you have to write the terms such that they are in decreasing order of the power of x. So notice how I have x cubed first, then x squared, then x, and this one doesn't have x in it. So this is already in standard form, so this will be our final answer. So this is how you multiply polynomials using box method. I hope you find this video helpful. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.